Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Listen, we've kind of started this trend here where we've talked about two person survival kits that you can purchase and they're already kind of pre made and you don't have to go through the, the rigmarole of trying to put it together yourself. You know, we talked about the Rhino bag. We talked about the Uncharted Supply bag. We also talked about Uncharted Supplies Base Camp. You can check that video out. I'll link that up for you as well. But now I bring you the Prepster by Preppy. Maybe I should have wore like a preppy shirt or something like that with this thing. I mean, this thing is, it's pretty preppy. Like literally they're hitting the mark with this thing. So Preppy's this startup company that started in LA and you know, the bag itself has this canvas feel to it. Feels like it will repel water pretty decent. Has these neat little feet on the bottom of the bag, a uh, little metal kind of feet on the bottom of the bag. It would probably be good if you wanted to keep this in certain areas in a closet, something like that. But the reason that the company makes this bag look like this is they don't want you necessarily just keep this thing hidden away in a garage. You know, they want you to be proud enough to keep your emergency bag in your living room, some crazy stuff like that. For the most part, the company purports that their bags are best suited for like natural uh, disasters, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, stuff like that, where you're going to need an emergency kit. You're going to need to know where it's at. So, you know, this is not necessarily going to be the bag for a get home situation unless you're going to be carrying this thing in your hand. You know, it doesn't come with any straps. Maybe you can buy some straps on their website. So the bag is made in Los Angeles. The company's based in Los Angeles. You can get this monogram color. You can get this color in different, um, you know, different ways. I decided to go with the green. I think they also do white. They do black. You know, that's a pretty nice little, a little touch as well. One thing I will say is I'm not a big fan of this big old symbol here. Kind of looks like a medical symbol. Kind of makes this scream, this bag scream out, you know, steal me. I'm emergency equipment. But if you're not too concerned about that stuff, then that's the logo that they went with. You know, comes with a nice little letter, which kind of explains a little about their mission statement and how they're trying to save the earth and why it's important to have food and water and first aid. This kit's pretty extensive. I'll tell you how much the kit is towards the end of the video. But if you like what you're seeing so far, make sure you hit that like button and you and you subscribe. We do a lot of this stuff all the time here on this channel. Let's dive in. So the bag itself is 24 by 17. So it's 24 inches wide. You know, it's about 17 inches in height. It's about eight inches in depth. So pretty sizable bag to keep tons of stuff inside. You can get a custom monogram if you want it. I didn't get the custom monogram. I guess somewhere on the right side of the bag over here somewhere they would put some initials if you wanted to put your family initials or something crazy, maybe your own initials and just make the bag your own. You can. So it comes with these. These are pretty heavy duty straps that are keeping this thing closed. I will give them that. See we got inside here. This thing's pretty well packed. You can see it right. I mean, they got a little bit of everything in this thing. They have a, it's not the most quote unquote organized. So, you know, a lot of the bags that we look through, as soon as you open the bags up, boom, you immediately see the different areas or whatever. This bag isn't really made up like that. It's kind of, let's just start and see what we got each individual thing. So this being a two person kit, course they give you two N95 respirators and this is a three-day kit so this is a 72-hour survival bag I guess they expect for you to wear the same mask the whole time and if that's that's your cup of tea then so be it they do give you a light duty um, medical kit by light duty I mean light duty medical kit this thing here it is a dry flex ultra light waterproof medical kit. So, I mean, it seems to have the super basic items that you might need in a kit. You know, you got a some safety pins and what the heck is this thing? 
Oh, they got some four snips. So they give you some four snips. That's a little bit different. They give you gauze. They give you some gloves. Give you some tape. You do have different sponges and you know just the basic items that I think you might need. This is pretty nice. They give you some some alcohol prep pads and you know just a real basic kit to kind of you know take care of the top level emergency they're not going to be giving you an, an israeli bandage or anything crazy like that <clears throat> they also give you field notes that you can keep your own little notes in it seems to be made of the uh the grid paper so if you need to draw a nice little map so field notes are always a nice useful thing so i'm still in the bag itself i'm sort of towards this front portion or this back portion towards the back of the bag digging what I can find out of the bag itself so they also give you a tent a tube style tent so this is an easy setup type tent even has a picture on the front with the end result of the tent should look like it is a bright orange so that you everybody and their mama can see you in your tent so that's a good thing if you want to be spotted. So this is the type of emergency bag where you want to be spotted. They also give you these little space blankets. They just don't look like the super robust reusable kind. But I mean, at the end of the day, they are some blankets. It's not ripping just from light use. I've taken out some space emergency blankets where they are complete trash, where you go to use them and they're not good good for use at all. They give you two of those being a two person kit. We're still in the back of the bag. This thing's pretty packed. I will give them that. So, you know, here they have these little sections in the back of the bag, which are kind of divvied off. And I just kind of pulled these gloves right from this back little section here. When you see a lot of different things in the very back of the bag. So one pair of gloves. These are going to be like workman type gloves because of the grip that they want you to be able to maintain. Would have been nice to have two pair of gloves. I guess they're assuming that only one person is going to work out of the two people that are trying to survive. So it comes with a flashlight. I guess this is a, a flashlight with an emergency whistle at the bottom. So the flashlight portion at the top is not a bright flashlight at all. I don't even know what kind of batteries it uses. It does have different light modes apparently so it can blink so for an emergency situation you can see the person and you can blow a whistle on this end here so it's a unique idea it's not the brightest flashlight for your usage your personal usage this is the first kit i've seen that comes with candles they just come with four hour candles you know i have 115 hour candles in my bug out bag so four hour candles are nice these little tea tea light candles so just something to kind of keep that way you're not burning through candles and that type of stuff. What else we have in here? We got some astronaut ice cream. Wow. Okay. So this kit doesn't just want you to survive. They don't they also want you to kind of have a few things that are key, that are nice to have while you're, you know, trying to survive. So a little bit of astronaut ice cream, you know, that might make some folks happy they provide you a charger cord so one of the most popular forms phones in america is the iphone so the little cord on top is an iphone but they didn't forget about you um i guess old school android users because it comes with a micro usb which i don't even know how many phones has a micro usb um i, I have a usb type c but so if you got a micro usb or an iphone they give you a cord in the bag they also give you some batteries. I'll just pull out one set. They give you six AAA batteries. You have your own pieces of equipment that you want to power up and you just don't keep tons of batteries in stock. And you follow my rule of using only AA or AAA batteries for your flashlights, then you might be a okay. Keeping along with the theme that they want you to be comfortable while you're trying to survive, they provide you some of the highest quality 
face moisturizer, shampoo, hair conditioner, and body moisturizer that you can purchase. Apparently this stuff is super popular. They keep this at some high-end swanky hotels out in New York. Makes me feel like I'm not, I'm telling you, I just feel like I'm not dressed right for this bag, man. So they give you also some playing cards. It's not a bad idea, it's not a bad touch. You know, having some playing cards to have something to do. They're poker size playing cards. I like this. Okay, this next item might be able to get some action immediately. They provide you a flask. Now, I don't know what else you would use a flask for other than bourbon. That's what I'm gonna use it for. I guess you can use this for water, but I just intend to, I don't have a flask. Of all the bourbon I like to drink, and I always go to people's houses and they have some whack bourbon. It's kind of nice to have a flask now. They also give you some grade A extra dark chocolates. I think I might eat this now, to be honest with you. I'm a big fan of chocolate. I'm gonna put that off to the side. I don't think that's gonna make it back into the bag. They give you some emergency ponchos. So just not emergency blankets. They give you some nice emergency ponchos that you can wear if you need to walk around. They also have an eight in one emergency charger. So it's a phone and tablet charger. It solar and hand crank radio, weather band radio, emergency lighting. It's not gonna be any too different from what's already on the market. If you're gonna keep this thing, this looks super familiar. It's just, I mean, it's an emergency radio. What do you expect? It looks really similar to the Rhino's emergency radio. Here's the Rhino emergency radio from that Rhino bag that I reviewed, and I'll link that up for you as well. It's a little bit bigger. So I'm assuming that the the battery is a little bit more, has more oomph to it, more milliamp hour, so you can truly charge an iPad or a tablet if you're not an iPad person. Of course, it has the hand crank features on the side, so you can you know crank it up if you just fail to keep it charged. This antenna is neatly tucked away on the side. That's something different. So a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. You can also charge it here with the micro um, with the micro USB. So that same cord they provided you for your iPhone, you can use that to charge this thing or you can use the included cord that they give you. And it does have weather band, it has FM. So you can use the uh, lithium ion battery that's inside or you can flip a switch and use the AAA batteries. It's a nice little touch. So I'll keep this out of its packaging. Make sure that gets charged up. There's no need to put it back in its box. They give you a bunch of 550 cord already attached to a little carabiner. I wish it was in a bag, but it does feel like 550 cord. It's a nice bright orange color. So if you use it, you can see where exactly you've deployed it and not trip on your face. So they give you three days supply worth of this, the Dytrex. Um, food here that you know I'm not the biggest fan of. This bag is big enough to where I would actually consider using MREs as a supplement. But if you don't want to go out and buy, spend extra money on MREs, you can use these Daltrex uh, food supply. One thing about this kit in comparison to the other kits I've recently reviewed for the money is that they provide you with emergency drinking water. So it's made by that same company, the Daltrex drinking water. It's five year shelf life, pretty good stuff here, well packaged. So, you know, you just hit this, open it up and have enough water. Apparently this should be enough water for per person for three days. If you sip about four ounces every few hours, you should be fine. So that's a good thing that they provide you emergency water. Hopefully they provide you with some type of filtration kit. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, you have, what the heck is this? Okay, so they give you a toothbrush and toothpaste. This is the toothpaste. Where the heck is the toothbrush? They give you hot hands. 
Hot hands, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of hot hands. You can put them on your kidneys, you can put them in your boots, give you a little bit of warmth. But they, I feel like they just put your body through unneeded temperature changes because you're not gonna be able to maintain that longer than the life of the hot hands. This is pretty poor, preppy. The itemized list for everything inside, it was literally at the bottom of the bag. Like that's, you know, that's pretty. But they do provide an itemized list of everything that's inside of the bag. Headlamp here. I have to hook the battery up. Doesn't look like it's, see, yeah, it uses AAA batteries. So pop that right open. We can pull this out. They also provide the AAA batteries. So you have nine AAA batteries. If you count these three, which are already in this headlamp. Headlamp is bright. This thing is surprisingly bright. I was ready to knock it because the looks did not purport that I was gonna get a bright, it has dim modes, it also has a red flashing mode, it's kind of a SOS emergency mode. That, that was surprisingly bright. So I'm still looking for the toothbrush. I see the toothpaste. Okay, here we are. So they give you two toothbrushes, some toothpaste. Um, you gotta keep good hygiene while you're in your emergency situation. This is some emergency matches because they don't give you any kind of fire starter. My assumption is they expect for you to use your fireplace or something like that, but starting fires is not easy. So they give you, it looks like maybe 10 matches in here, no kind of fire starter. I don't know if they expect for you to be some kind of mountain man and just be able to figure it out. But here's a multi-tool. So if you don't own a multi-tool, this does seem like it would get the job done. This feels pretty nice in the hand. Um, you know, pretty standard multi-tool. So it has tools on the side here, has the pliers on the top, the Phillips head, has a bottle opener I can see in here, has a little knife, a slotted screwdriver. So if you don't own a, if you do, don't own a multi-tool, this will be a nice, nice to have. Doesn't come with any kind of case though. So they expect for you to keep that in the bag. We're coming towards the end. I'm reaching the, still in the back of the bag. So they give you some multi-purpose 50 gallon bags, whatever you wanna use these bad boys for. This is a nice touch to have some 50 gallon bags, just in case there's some personal effects you wanna keep dry or you wanna bring along with you. I don't know how, how good those bags are gonna be, but they give them to you. Here's some duct tape. One thing I can tell you right off top, I'm not a big fan that they don't have it in any kind of packaging. I can feel the adhesive on the side as soon as I pull it out. It was segregated in its own portion of the bag, but I'm not sure how long that's going to, before it starts gathering lint. They also give you some tea. I mean, once again, this is just not a bag of survival. They want you to be comfortable while you're trying to survive. So they give you enough tea for one serving. It's a three day bag, but they give you tea for one serving. Okay. They also give you a pencil for your handy dandy field notes and another emergency whistle. That looks like that's about it. So what do you guys think? Is the Prepster something you would try? Let me try their chocolate. This is a, I don't see a point of keeping chocolate in an emergency bag. Just see what we got rocking here. Okay, that is some real chocolate. That stuff is rich, really rich, like to the point where I need I need some bourbon now. So what do you think? The Prepster three day two person emergency kit. It's by the company Preppy. Oh wait, it's four hundred ninety five dollars. Is it worth it? The bag's pretty premium. It's pretty nice. The items inside are kind of chaotically placed. I see the concept they're going for in here. But I mean, if we go back inside real quick and I tried to replicate them, 
you know, how they had the items together, and it was not the easiest dang on horse to tame, I'll tell you that much. I mean, there's stuff everywhere. If I wanted to, if I want to supplement this with my own stuff, I guess I could. Flashlight is complete trash. Yeah, that emergency mode is cute, but I guess it's going to work if you're if you're in a hurricane, I can imagine if you are in North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, New Jersey, one of those coastal states that has to worry about hurricanes, this might be a bag that you keep in your closet. That flashlight seems to be suitable enough to gain the attention of an emergency response person. But this probably isn't a bag that you're going to keep in your vehicle to get home. Maybe you keep it in your vehicle for an emergency. I guess if you get stuck somewhere for three days, this would be a nice bag to have. But if you want to be mobile, this bag is not going to be for you. And if you do decide to purchase this bag, you're going to need to supplement it with some stuff. The flash night's not very good. You're going to you should have probably one more pair of gloves. I would probably add some safety stuff in here as well. It doesn't have a knife. The multi tool is OK and all, but it doesn't include a knife. So you probably want to have something like that in here as well. But it's not my money. It's your money. Tell me what you're going to do. Let me know in the comments below. Is this something you would purchase? Is this something you would even think about picking up? You know, I'm going to be doing here soon a review of the best mini survival kits of 2021. So keep your eyes out for that. If you're not already subscribed on this channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let you two know that they should share this video with others. Get a little bit of information about the prepster. Maybe I should have wore a bow tie for this by preppy and in the meantime i'm gonna speak to y'all soon thanks for coming back i'll talk to you later